y'all welcome back to my channel so first off I just wanted to apologize for being so absent this past week I am literally in the middle of midterms so it was just hard for me to focus on anything other than my schoolwork and my clients but I'm back so tonight's video is going to be project pan and obviously I know that I'm like late to jump on the bandwagon but I just figured I would give it a shot because I've seen a couple of my friends here on YouTube do it and it's something I'm really interested in because I don't necessarily use up a lot of my products and I've had products for a really really long time in my collection and I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to show some of my products that I love more attention throughout the upcoming year. So with that being said, I'm really excited about this. And one of the people who really inspired me to do this is Kay Bella Beauty. So I'm going to have her information linked down below. Please go and check her out. She is so adorable and amazing. I really enjoy her videos. So anyways, if you're interested to see the 18 products that I have for the 2018 project pan then just keep watching okay so first off i just wanted to say that obviously i don't have any makeup on and that's because i just got back from a long day out with my mom and my grandmother and i didn't feel like wearing makeup today so i still wanted to get this video out to everyone and i didn't feel like doing my makeup really late at night when i have nowhere to go <laughs> so it's kind of that real time for me um but yeah let's go ahead and jump in so i kind of divvied up the products based on the entire face just not like one category or another so i have products from every single category of the face so starting off I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. So if y'all have been around my channel, oh my gosh, y'all, what is going on? Every single time daddy is not home, the doggies act up. Like every single time. It's because they're like anxious that he's not here. So sorry about that. <laughs> but anyways, so this is what the packaging looks like. And I have been loving this primer for a while now but it's not necessarily something that i'm reaching for on a very consistent basis like of course i reach for it but this is something that i definitely want to use up um for one because i love primers and i want to make more room for primers in my collection and i just really love this one so i feel like this could be an easy target for me to use up in the year of 2018 it is amazing if y'all have not tried this please go check it out it's one of those primers that when it says hydrating it's not lying to you like it literally is the most hydrating primer i've ever used in my entire life it will turn your mattest foundation into a satin to dewy finish like that's how amazing this stuff is i love it so much and then another primer that i really want to use up is the tarte poreless mattifying primer this one is amazing for my t-zone because i have literally the largest pores known to man um especially like on my nose and then right here on my cheeks and a little bit on my chin so this is something that i feel like generally i just need to be reaching more for because especially throughout the day as i'm wearing my foundations i tend to see my foundation break up in those areas whenever i don't use this primer so it's not for me just all about the pore filling it's also about how long this makes my foundation last so i'm really excited to use this one up as well so moving on to foundation, the first one I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick. This is what the stick looks like. Um, I'm not going to like really open it because mine broke, which is really disappointing. Um, I have used this a bit, but it's not done. So I just feel like it's one thing um, or a foundation that I love a lot and it gives a beautiful finish to the skin and it's something that i know i'm going to gravitate towards towards the summer as well just because it sits really well whenever you're sweating throughout the day which in florida you can't not sweat it's just literally impossible believe me i've tried <laughs> 
So I'm really excited to use this one up as well. And also this is like super dingy. Like it has foundation stains all over it and I really want a new one, but I don't buy like more than one thing. That's just not who I am. So I need to use it up so I can buy another one. <laughs> and then another foundation, which this is going to be in my favorites video for February, like without a doubt, hands down. And honestly, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is my favorite foundation of all time. So this is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. The packaging is super bougie. I paid $20 for this at CVS and I went to Ulta tonight with my mom and we found this for $12.99 at Ulta. So honestly, y'all, if you can get this, seriously get this foundation, like it has magical powers. I don't know how to explain it, but it literally seeps into your skin, gives such a beautiful finish. Like it makes your skin look like skin, but better. Like it reminds me, I feel like this should have the slogan that the Too Faced Better Than Skin Foundation has um, because that's what this is. It is your skin. It looks like your skin. It looks so natural, beautiful, and radiant, but it looks better. So I'm excited to use this up and I feel like I definitely will. Like I've already done some damage with that one. <laughs> okay, so what should I do next? Powder, that makes sense. Oh, concealer. That makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> so I have the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. This one is in the shade beige. This concealer I've had in my collection for multiple months at this point, and I love this concealer so much. I have used two other shades prior to me getting this one, and I used both of those up, so I don't see myself having a problem with using this one up this year. It is really, really good. I love it so much, and I just need to be reaching for it more within my collection. Okay, so the next product I have is another concealer, and this one is the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. Whew, that's a mouthful. So this is what the packaging looks like for this one. And for me personally, like, I just really want to make sure that I'm still using drugstore products, even as I develop in my channel and things like that, just because I don't want, first off, to kind of get lost in luxury. So I feel like I want to have like a really good mixture of products that I'm using, um, like from the drugstore and high end. So this concealer is one that I also bought within the month of February and I like it so far. So I just really want to keep using it and hopefully I continue to like it. And so far it's been doing pretty well. So this is definitely another one that I feel like I want to use up for the project pan. Okay. So now I feel like I can go to powder. So this powder is the Kat Von D Locket Powder. This is what the packaging looks like. And I had wanted to purchase a really good translucent powder for baking for the longest time. Like, I think I talked about buying not necessarily this exact one, but just a loose powder for like probably five to six months before I actually dedicated my budget to doing that. And this powder is fantastic. And I feel like I need to be doing more of the baking since I was really interested in getting to that. Um, that's why like I bought this product. So I really want to use this up in 2018. And I also want to try other loose powders, but I feel like because this one was so pricey since it is a more high end brand, I don't necessarily want to like buy another one when this one is so good. So I definitely want to use this up so I can try out another one. Okay. I don't know why I'm like sniffly right now, but something's going on. So I feel like we're going to move into contour bronzer next. That just makes the most sense to me. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is what the palette looks like. And on one side, it has a really beautiful vanilla shade. And then the other side is like kind of an ashy gray tone contour. 
and I have actually put a pretty nice dent in this um but it's still not there so this is something that I love I love this product so much both sides not just one or the other and I feel like I don't know I just need to show it more love this year because there's so much product in here and I would love to see this actually hit pan because that means that I'm showing it the love that it deserves if y'all have not tried this by wet and wild I highly recommend it it is one of the best drugstore especially like really affordable contour little kit here that I've ever used so that's obviously definitely on the list and then kind of staying within that same family I am obsessed with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Like, oh, just smelling it, it smells like pure coconut. So this is what the pan looks like. It is a pretty deep pan, like if I show you actually what it looks like. So I feel like it's deep, but at the same time, it's reasonable. It's not necessarily something that um, I should be like too worried about for going through um, the project pan but I feel like this is a bronzer that I actually really love to use for some reason it was like hard for me to get onto the bronzer and the contouring game just in general but whenever I use this I just feel like my skin looks better for me personally it's the perfect tone because I'm not too I'm definitely neutral so I'm not too warm and I'm not too cool I'm right in between and this is perfect for me so it's definitely something that I see myself using up for 2018 okay yes this is what I'm gonna do so this one I'm really nervous about it's a blush and I have a lot of blushes in my collections. I have individual blushes as well as um, blush kits. So I was kind of nervous about picking a blush, but I really wanted to incorporate like the entire face with this project. So what's making me really nervous is that I chose a Amazonian clay blush by Tarte. And for anyone who really knows these blushes well they know that they're super pigmented they last a really long time it's not a blush that you need to throw into your purse to touch up later it's going to last on your skin for as long as you have your makeup on and this one specifically is in the shade exposed for me this is like the perfect every single day pinchy pinky <laughs> rosy kind of like neutral blush and I use this a ton in the year of 2016 I believe so I've had it for quite a long time almost two years and well yeah two years and it still is like nowhere near hitting pan so I would love to be able to say that like I've hit pan on a tart blush because I feel like that's when you really know you're dedicated to a product because their blushes are just so on point and so pigmented and beautiful that you don't need a lot. So that's kind of more of my challenging product in this 18 product mess that is on my table right now. <laughs> okay, so next up we have the highlight that first off I just love in general and this is the pixie and aspenovard um, blush and it's in the shade Santorini sunset so this is what the packaging looks like and it is it's pretty filled up so it's a pretty thick um, or deep pan and I love this so much because for one if you use it with just like putting it on your blush and applying it to your foundation like it's going to give you that really like gorgeous glow from within something that like brides are really going for because you don't want it to be too striking but then if you wet your brush before or if you like spurt some after you dip it into the product then it gives you a really striking beaming to the heaven sort of highlight so this one for me is like the best of both worlds and again it is that perfect shade for me it's like a very light gold champagne vanilla that's how I would describe the shade so I'm really excited to use that one up and out of all of my um, highlighters which I have a lot this one is definitely one that I feel like is the perfect shade for me if that makes sense so 
I could definitely see myself using that one a lot. Hopefully I hit pan on that. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. So the first thing I have, which was kind of hard for me, I wanted to pick an eyeshadow palette to really dedicate myself to and show a lot of love to for 2018. And I have the self-made palette, the modern renaissance palette, and the subculture palette. So I decided to choose this one mainly because I just feel like out of all of the palettes, this one has so many universal shades that are unique, but they also aren't wild and crazy. So I'm not necessarily like a huge black eyeshadow kind of gal. Like I definitely tend to gravitate more towards the warm tones. And this is a warm toned dream. So I wanted to really dig into this, but specifically I wanted to touch on Dawn right here, Roxy, Fudge, New Wave, and Edge. So out of all of them, those are the ones that I really want to hit pan on, but I also want to use this enough to wear I hit pan on the other eyeshadows as well. And it's just so gorgeous, and I feel like a lot of the greens and the reds and kind of like the deep purple and stuff are things that will kind of bring me out of my comfort zone. Like I love warm toned reds, but this one is like super, super deep as well as these greens. So I'm excited to work more with this palette. And I feel like sometimes for me, eyeshadow palettes, like even though I tend to use them a lot more than I have with my single eyeshadows within the past like year and a half, um, I don't necessarily like use every single eyeshadow in one palette. And I really, really want to try to do this um, with this palette. So we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes and hopefully it'll work out. And one individual eyeshadow that I am obsessed with just in general and one that I feel like I just need to give more attention to is by ColourPop and it's in the shade Nillionaire. So it's this really beautiful bronze taupe that I feel like whenever um, it reflects certain lights, it looks bronze, and then other lights, it looks taupey. So I feel like it's the perfect shimmer to go all over the lid. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I know that the ColourPop um, like Super Shock eyeshadows don't have super deep hands, so I feel like this is a very reasonable glitter eyeshadow for me to conquer this with. <laughs> all right, so... Next up, we have the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. So this is what the inside looks like. And if y'all have been with me for a while, when I first got this, I was like die hard obsessed. So this is kind of a close up. And for me, what I really want to do with this palette um, is hit pan on two eyeshadows. I haven't decided like which ones I want to, but I want to hit pan on two of them. For one, because I have not really touched this in probably four to five months. And that makes me sad because these eyeshadows are freaking amazing. And again, like that's the whole point why I'm trying to do this is really to show love to products that I miss and I feel very strongly and passionate about. So I'm really excited to be working with this eyeshadow palette again. And hopefully I can use more than just two. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So last category, I feel like I was thinking about doing mascara, but for me, I'd be like, I don't know. I feel like that would just be a cop out because I use mascara so much. Even when I don't do my makeup, I have mascara on except for today. But anyways, um, I just feel like that would be too easy for me. And I really wanted to challenge myself with this. So and that's why I didn't throw a mascara in there. But anyways, we have four different lip products. So first up, we have the Milani Lipstick in the shade Naturally Chic. So this is the packaging. It's like a really beautiful gold. And then this is the shade. So if y'all know me, you know that this is like legit the most Brianna shade out there. It is a Mavi Rose, which is like my gig. That is my thing. I love Mavi Rose shades on my lips and I feel like it complements my skin tone. I haven't touched any of my Milani lipsticks in a long time and I love them. 
I love them so much like they're creamy they stay on for like a really long time considering they're actual lipsticks and not liquid lipsticks so I really want to show some love to Milani because I love their lip products so much and I figured this one is definitely a shade that I can use pretty often and then another one is the Tarte lipstick in the shade Sunkissed so it has this really beautiful blue marble packaging and then this is what the shade looks like. So this is definitely more of a nude for me. I am now at the point where I'm really gravitating more towards like peachy nudes because they just complement my skin tone a lot better. I was going through this phase to where I had more of like, like the really brownie nude and or like the really nude nude. And they just didn't necessarily look the greatest on my skin tone. So I'm really excited about this one. And as soon as I got this, I was like obsessed. So I feel like this could be kind of like an easy one for me. <laughs> All right. So I have two lip glosses. If y'all have been around, you know that I'm obsessed with a buxom lip gloss in the shade White Russian. And I've already like put a little bit of a dent on this one. So... For those of you who don't know, these have a very minty feel to the lips. They don't necessarily taste like mint, which I guess is kind of like a weird thing to taste like, but it really gives that mint sensation and it cools down your lips. And being in Florida, like it is hot all the time year round. We had like probably two weeks of winter, not even kidding. So for me this lip gloss is a savior during those hot months like even if i don't have any makeup on i will just throw this on my lips and it actually cools down my face so i feel like this could be another easy one for me to achieve and i also just love the shade and it gives that really wet glossy look which i love to go for for the spring and the summertime and then the last one of my project pan 2018 is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. So this is what the shade looks like. It's a really pale peach, but what I love about this color is that I can put this on top of like a darker lipstick like this one, and it doesn't lighten it up so much. So it's not crazy pigmented, um, which I really appreciate, and it's, I don't know, it's more affordable. Sometimes like with my more expensive lip glosses, I don't like to taint the color, if that makes sense. Because if I were to put this over a really dark lipstick, just to kind of add a little bit of a gloss to it, it's not necessarily going to look the best in the tube anymore because I've kind of tainted that color. But this one is obviously a lot less expensive, so I feel like I can do that with this one more. And I love the shade. It kind of just adds a little bit of a peach to any of your lipsticks, which is really nice for me because I love that. So yeah, that completes this Ramble Session 2018 pan video for the first time ever. I just thought it was such a cool idea and like I've kind of heard about it throughout you know just the beauty community but I had never actually watched a pan video until I watched my friend um K Bella Beauty and she was talking about her products and I just thought that is so cool I feel like especially for beauty bloggers it gives us a challenge to be able to use up a product since we do have so much makeup so I'm excited about this and I hope that y'all are too I guess the idea is to do kind of monthly updates so I can start doing that and that's why I wanted to have this at the end of February um, so I can start updating you at the end of March on how this project is going. So you might see more of the um, these products in tutorials. I'm also going to really try to use them mostly like throughout the week whenever I am doing my makeup for school and for work. So that's going to complete this video y'all. I'm so happy to be back. I missed you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.